Hello everyone, Siri Emerald here, and this is a video to show the genealogical progression of the Iron Man armors. Now there are a few assumptions that are made in this. First, that Tony Stark would have done this progressively in a numerical fashion, and second, that he would have built them in an order, completing one before moving on to the next. So first, of course, we have the original armor, affectionately referred to as the Mark I. I don't think anyone can argue that this is definitely an original armor without any other preconceived idea as to its construction. Next would come the Mark II. Again, an original armor, though it was built with the Mark I in mind, it is built completely with its own original parts. The next armor we have that has unique pieces in it is the Mark IV. One thing that seems to be carried over from a previous armor is the hands and feet. Next is the Mark V. I don't think anyone can argue that there is a total, complete uniqueness about the Mark V. Truly unique, no other armor resembles it whatsoever. Mark VI is the next in line. The only unique pieces to this is the chest and the wrist gauntlets. Next unique armor we have is the Mark VII. This one can actually be autopiloted to the wrist attachments worn by Tony. Next in line is the Mark VIII. Now the Mark VIII's unique features may be something that you hadn't realized were truly unique to the Mark VIII first. But as you can see, the torso and the legs are seen for the first time on the Mark VIII. Next unique armor is the Mark IX. This is the first armor to have this style legs and helmet. Following the Mark IX comes the Mark X with its unique torso, forearms, and lower legs and feet. After the Mark X comes the Mark XI with its unique helmet and thighs. And next in line is the Mark XII with its unique helmet, arms, and lower legs. Following the Mark XII is the Mark XIII with unique chest, forearms, and knees. And after the Mark XIII comes the Mark XIV, which has a unique head, hips, thighs, and lower legs. Next comes the Mark XV, a truly unique armor, and the Mark XVI as well, a truly unique armor. From there we have Mark 17, the Heartbreaker, and the only thing unique on the Mark 17 is the chest and biceps. After that, the Mark 18, and the unique pieces on the Mark 18 are the biceps, shoulders, and the lower legs. The next armor that is unique comes to Mark 22. Mark 22 Hot Rod has a unique torso, hips, and thighs. Following the Mark 22 is the Mark 23 Shades with its unique helmet, shoulders, and abdomen. And after the Mark 23 is the Mark 25, being the next armor with unique pieces, torso, shoulders, and arms. The next armor in line to have anything unique to it is the Mark 29 Fiddler. Its unique contribution to the lineup is its waist. Mark 30 Blue Steel is next with its unique shoulder, arms, and thighs. And following the Mark 30 is the Mark 34 Southpaw. Unique armor pieces on it are shoulders and the left arm. Following the Mark 34 is the Mark 35 Red Snapper, with its unique pieces being its torso and helmet. After that, the Mark 37, with its unique arms, legs, and helmet. And the Mark 38, which is entirely unique armor. Following the Mark 38 comes the Mark 39 Star Boost, which is almost entirely unique except for the waist. After that, the next two armors, the Mark 41 and Mark 42, are entirely unique. Now keep in mind, this doesn't take into consideration upgrades to the operating system or layouts to electrical. I'm talking specifically just on the physical outward appearances to these armors in comparison to the armors that came afterwards. Also keep in mind from 44 on, to the best of my knowledge, they've all been unique from there, except for, like I said, again, operating systems that would have been carried over or changed over or along that lines. So this list isn't completely conclusive, but basically just for the purpose of the collecting of the figures themselves. Thanks for watching everyone. You've seen my previous video where I show the connection to physically building these for a collector, click here. And to see my last video, click here. To subscribe, click here. Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald and on Twitter at Siri Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Subscribe to me on Patreon. Share my videos, give them a thumbs up. It really does help. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me your opinions on this genealogical hierarchy. And thanks for watching everyone. See you on the next video. Happy collecting.